books, books. Take a break and enjoy a good book. We got some weather coming. It's going right. to give you a chance to. Rona Brindley is the owner of Neptune Beach Bookmark, and she's back with a few of her recommendations. You always have good stuff for us. How's it going? I, I think it's great that the weather is going to turn into book weather. Right. So, you know, it's right. fine by me. A good rainy day is a great day for a book and a nap. So all right. So I'm give me, give me something in, that I need know. to check out. Okay, so the first one is Love and Ruin. This is Paula McLean. She's the one who did The Paris Wife about Hemingway and his first wife, Hadley. Okay. We're now on wife three with <laughs> Martha Gellhorn. But Martha Gellhorn actually steals the show from Hemingway in this one. She's pretty feisty, and she gives him a run for his money. I mean, he's devolving into what he's devolving into. <laughs> but she stays strong. And so Has it's you gotten a great, to Key West yet? Uh, they've gotten to Key West. They've been in Spain and <laughs> right. Cuba. And yeah, right. He, he, he's And they've got the cats. So, okay. you know, right. All the important things are, are here. So. All right. And you'll find out what happens with her. This one, Julian Barnes, he never disappoints me. The only story, this is ostensibly a story of a 19-year-old boy who falls madly in love with a woman who's 30 years older than he is. Cougar. Uh, well, you That's know. what they call him. It is, but it's how that relationship pans out and what you think at 19 and then how things completely change different. over time yeah. so the story actually goes from first person to second person to third person okay as he gets farther away from you know that first blush of love so yeah the Absolutely. writing is just exquisite um for fun um christopher moore noir this is noir you know just the facts ma'am 1947 a dame walks into a bar and the, you know she's right. blonde and good looking yep. and the bartender falls in love with her and then of course she goes missing and uh -oh. so he's got a finder, there's a dirty cop, there's a, this is, you know, sort of Carl Hyacinth, like there's a missing snake, there's a secret society, there's sort of men in black. All kinds of mystery to figure out. All kinds of mystery, okay. but lots of fun and laughter. They're perfectionists. This is Simon Winchester. He can make any obscure topic interesting, including the Oxford English Dictionary or the Pacific <laughs> Ocean, I mean anything. The perfectionists are these unknown or little known um, inventors who make things that make it possible for us to have all the gadgets we have, our phone. Yep. So the person who invented the precision hole maker or the refracting telescope or all of the things that were necessary to make these gadgets and so we find out how that happens although he does end by saying craftsmanship is still an important thing. Of course. Thing, so. All right. Graduation season, back to Carl Hyacinth. This is the speech that no one is ever going to hear. Assume the worst. You know, this is with cartoons by Roz Chats from The New Yorker, and he's telling you, if you assume the worst, you won't be disappointed, and then if good things happen, you'll be so pleasantly surprised. Uh, that's one way to go through life. <laughs> he gets more realistic at the end. He says, read the news, find your happiness. If you're good at something, you should get better at it. And to make Darwin happy, be the one who sleeps closest to the campfire. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. All right. And then you got some authors coming, as always. We do. And some of them are local. Captain John Mitchell is tomorrow night, Seven Ships. He's been on Seven Ships in his Navy career, circumnavigated the globe. And so he's going to talk about his career. That's got to be some great experiences there. Uh, Peggy Nolan, this is for the little kids. I this love is this one. Great. She. Um, this, the book is a song. She can sing the song, and there's going to be music and art. We're going to get to paint little rocks. Oh, this is great. Yeah, Garden Toes. This, uh, my wife and I, for the little one, we're, uh, we're loading up on all kinds of plant books and gardening books. And right, get them out like in that. the yeah. dirt, you know. It's yeah. good to be out in the dirt. They're Adults, their, too. They're going to know their vegetables before they know their, <laughs> their ABCs, probably. I like it. And Into the Raging Sea, this is an important book for our area in particular. This is a Boston journalist who looked into the Alfaro. Wow and what happened, why it happened, and sadly why it didn't have to happen. Yeah, so. yeah definitely a lot of local appeal for the 33 uh, we lost in that. But Unfortunately, that's, yes, but it'll be she'll interesting. Be, she'll be there? She'll be there um, June 8th, yes, at 7. Very right. cool, very cool. We well, appreciate you giving us some ideas here for Absolutely. the weather coming up. You can get more information on Rona and the bookmark by either visiting her in Neptune Beach at the store, the address is 221st Street, or by heading to her website, which is bookmarkbeach.com.